Judah, should we always let our light shine for Jesus? Yes. What if somebody tries to stop you, Judah? You keep doing it. So what if someone says, Judah, you need to put your light out. You need to stop talking about Jesus. Um, I uh, still keep doing it. We keep sharing the love of Jesus, right? Yes. Let your light shine. Yes. Has anyone ever told you, I've got something to tell you, but you cannot tell anyone else? No matter what happens, you can't let anyone else know what I'm about to tell you. Then they tell you, and you immediately think, wait a minute, I've got to tell someone else. You know, someone else's safety depends upon this. Someone else's well-being depends upon this. This is not something that should be kept secret. Hi, my name's Pete, and me and my wife, Sean, invite you to our home to share in Bible study. We believe the absolute best way to disciple your family is uh, simply reading and studying the Word of God together and discussing it. And today, we're continuing our study of Mark chapter 5 and the parable of the lamp and the lampstand. Uh, I'll re re begin reading verse 21. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, or not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall be manifest, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should become abroad. So here, Jesus has gotten done doing some great teaching, Sermon on the Mount, and he's like, hey, look, some things you can't keep to yourself. Some things you've got to let out. You've got to let your light shine, right? You've got this light. You've got to lift it high. You've got to let it shine before the men around you. Well, you know what? The thing we discussed with our family today when we were sitting around the dinner table when we was talking about this, we told the boys, we was like, hey, guys, listen, there is people who will want to put your light out. This world will tell you you cannot let your light shine for Jesus. They will say, hey, that's all good, but you know what? That's between you and God. Keep it to yourself. Oh, separation of church and state. You can't talk about those things here in your school. Or you can't talk about those things here in your workplace. And they will try to silence you. And, you know, as a, a body of Christ, we have to realize that it's our responsibility to let the light shine. We cannot be sil uh, silenced, right? We cannot let the, the light be put under a bushel or hidden under something. We have to let it shine before all men. You know, we told the boys the example in the Bible where Peter and James is preaching in the temple and they arrest them and say, hey, you do not talk about Jesus no more. Whatever you do, do not leave here and speak his name anymore. Well, they punish them, they put them in prison, and they get out, and what do they go do? They go straight into the temple and start teaching people about Jesus once again because that was the light. That was the message they had to deliver. They were lifting that light high. And Jesus tells us that if he be lifted high, all men be drawn unto him. You know, the scripture is full of individuals who refuse to let their light be put out. I think of Daniel in the lion's den, right? He could have not prayed to his God and just let his light be extinguished. But he said, no, I would rather die at the hand of lions then let my light be extinguished. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they could have bowed to the idol like everyone else did and made it in peacefully, but no, they said we would rather be burned in a fiery furnace than to let our light be extinguished. Well, how about you? Have you let this world extinguish your light? Have you let people around you uh, extinguish it or hide it? Or whenever you're in certain situations or certain circumstances, you put the light away. You may put it out altogether, or you may just hide it to where others don't see it. But let me encourage you, Jesus died so that we could be the light so that we could share it with the world and the only way this world is going to gain freedom is to hear the truth and that truth comes through us for some reason he chose broken vessels to be the carrier of his word right judah mm -hmm. that's exactly right going forward we want to remind you every day there's four things a disciple of jesus christ will do you'll seek to encounter god you'll exalt god you'll edify yourself by reading the word of god and you will engage this world for jesus christ until next time god bless